When I first got to Canon, my perception was, uh, this is definitely a change from what I'm used to. And as I pulled up around the nice little on-ramp there, and I saw the Canon Air Force Base sign, you know, there was a little bit of nervousness, apprehension about this new adventure. I, I went directly to working in the MPF here, quickly realized that um, that organization was struggling with manning concerns. And so to be able to maintain operations within that uh, organization at the levels we desired was extraordinarily difficult. But it also opened my eyes to some of the leadership approaches during a challenging situation like that. Kind of my standard process for any time I go to a, a new organization where I'm going to be leading people in teams is I take the time right off the bat, sit down with a lot of those very individuals. Many of them were burnt out and were truly struggling to find meaning, to find acceptance and value from those that they looked up to. It kind of hurt my heart a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, there was a time, even as a senior NCO, my levels of stress and even depression affected my work-life balance to the point where after, you know, 14, 15 years in the military, I, I walked into a reserve recruiter's office and said, this truly is what I have to look forward to. Uh, I'm done, I'm out, it's not for me. The, the ultimate piece of that is a lack of connection by leadership to those that they ought to have a great degree of trust in and investment in. And when that happens, bad things happen. When you wanna connect with an audience, when you wanna connect with your people, we gotta be more real. We gotta have honest conversations. And one of the ways we wanna achieve that is by bringing some of the tactical level individuals to the table, to the microphone, ask them to be part of the conversation, to share their thoughts, their experiences, their views and perspectives. The goal behind the podcast is very simple. We wanted to have honest, real, but professional and caring conversations about topics that I feel are very important for the Canon Air Force Base audience. So when people hear that, I hope they connect with it. But I also hope leadership listens because this is a very good educational opportunity for them to peel back the curtain and get some unbridled feedback. Our leaders need to have a very clear understanding of why they are doing what they're doing as a leader. In other words, why did you seek that position as a leader? Why is it that you are there wanting to be that person guiding and directing an organization or team? But deep down, if we're honest with ourselves, and the answer to that is, is, hey, I'm here for the benefits of what leadership gives me, right? You're in it for the wrong reasons. But if your response is, is I'm here to ensure every single person to my left, right, and below me is growing and developing and, and, and flourishing, then you've got my attention. Now you've convinced me that you might be in it for the right reason. We've almost created verbal memes where you have the NCO or the officer walking around Monday morning with their cup of coffee, sipping on it, stopping by every desk or whatever, going, hey, how's your, how's your, how was your weekend? How are you doing, right? And then we walk away and we're like, hey, I'm connecting with my people, right? We're blind as leaders as, as to how little that little action truly connects with our people because most of the time everybody's thinking, here comes the boss, what do they want? Connecting is being very deliberate and intentional about spending some time with your people, getting to know them, allowing them time to talk to you about some things that interest them, things that are important to them. That's what Canon needs. If, if leaders were honest with themselves in evaluating how much time in a given week, looking back at how often they interact with their people, and then assign a percentage to how often that interaction really is only talking about the things that you want to talk about as a leader. If it's a high percentage of time, you're not connecting with your people. That's a tough thing to say. It's an uncomfortable truth and it stings. Guess what? Welcome to leadership. I'm definitely gonna miss Canon. I'm absolutely gonna miss Canon. But the most impressive thing for me, the thing that's going to stay with me the most and give me the most satisfaction as an individual is 
the lives that I, I think I've made an impression on. I believe that I have. Because I know, I see the fire in them, that they're going to go out and do the same. What more can I do?